<laughs> Last time, uh, I was talking about the gold standard, right? And talking about a world in which uh, uh, national currencies have mint pars, their, their promises to pay gold. Um, this is the world that Badgett knew. And the uh, sort of economics of the dealer function that we came up with for that world, um, let me erase high frequency trading, that's definitely not Badgett's world, okay? Um, the two sort of uh, dealer model uh, equa uh, deal dealer model um, pictures that we came up with to describe that. One was for the um, exchange rate. Exchange rate. And uh, we had a picture that looked sort of like this. Okay. Uh, and this was the uh, pound over the dollar was what we were talking about, where the pound is, um, I'm treating it as the foreign currency, but in fact it was the world reserve currency um, at, that, at, at, that, at that time. Um, and we talked about how as the dollar depreciates, so this is the dollar depreciating as you're moving to the right here. So this is liquidity risk on this axis that dealers are facing. Um, and you hit at this point this gold point, x over y, which, are the, which is the mint par ratio minus the cost of, of of, of transporting gold. Um, and when you hit there, the central bank of the United States has to step in and defend the dollar. Okay, that's what it means to be on the gold standard. Um, and, um, but this is the private dealer's profit maximizing uh, kind of uh, uh, picture. And uh, where the size of the balance sheet, the size of the liquidity risk you're taking on, um, determines the quote that you give of the, of the exchange rate. And the important point about this was that the exchange rate can fluctuate. Even though there's a mint par, okay, there's no particular reason to think that the exchange rate is exactly x over y. Okay, that it can vary between x over y minus delta and x over y plus delta, which is, which is up here. Okay. And these were the, th this is the first thing that we had. Um, and I'm putting this up here because you'll see there's a similarity between this analysis and what I'm going to do for, for flexible exchange rates. We also had a second dealer diagram, which was for the uh, uh, rate of interest um, in, in the center of the system, okay, the, the, which, is the, uh, which was the UK. Um, in which there was an upward sloping yield curve here. Okay. And we talked about how the amount of stress in the system uh, leads to fluctuations in the market rate of interest. Um, and so we could say here like this, oops, in the market rate of interest, at any, mo at any moment in time, there's the market rate of interest here. Um, and then once the stress becomes big enough and you get to your, your position limits, there's the bank rate of interest, which is the discount rate quoted by the uh, Bank of England. Um, and, uh, and then it becomes the problem of the, of, of the, uh, of the Bank of England which can feed out notes and, 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 uh, and backstop the system, um, subject to the problem that these notes have to be convertible into gold. And if, 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 uh, if in fact, there's an external drain and foreigners are converting into gold, then you got a problem and you have to raise bank rate, okay, or ultimately go off gold, suspend payments. And that's where we were at the end. And I put this up again today because you're going to see we're going to use this also, this kind of style of thinking for talking about flexible exchange rates. I emphasized uh, as a prelude to that and as a, as a frame for that, um, that under the gold standard, we have these sort of exogenous bounds on the system, right? There's these, these gold points and there's this bank rate of interest. So the central bank is kind of uh, putting its arms around the system. You know, it's, 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 it's setting the, the, the bounds within which the system fluctuates, okay? And that's not true of, modern, of, of the modern system. At least it's not explicitly true. We don't see the same explicit bounds. Um, and so that's our challenge now to think about the, the modern system and how, it, and how it works once we have some intuition from this somewhat simpler system where you can see the bounds, you can see how it works.